human rights is the process by which you hold people in power to account. So that's one way of defining it. Maybe if you have to, to mention or, or to number the worst act of human rights violation uh, since 2000 till now, what, what would you mention? You know, we've, uh, Amnesty International works on a whole range of human rights and for uh, historically, for example, we have been working on the issue of death penalty, mm -hmm. the issue of prisoners of conscience, the issue of torture. You know, all of these are very um, blatant and egregious violation of human rights. Um, but more and more, we are also looking at the issues of economic, social, cultural rights, which include poverty, it includes hunger, because for poor people, uh, that is also a violation of human rights. Yeah. You can't create a hierarchy of human rights, you know, because for us, even if there is one person uh, who has been killed or tortured, or one person who is having to whose human rights are denied because of poverty, um, they're all equally bad. We don't say that, you know, one is worse or one is better. We think that every human being has rights and all rights should be protected. Maybe you have heard this uh, discover that WikiLeaks have, mm -hmm. have done about the, the tortures that... The in Iraq? In, in, in Iraq, Iraq, yeah. yeah. Uh, according to this, what's the, what's the fate of, uh, of USA? We were very concerned about uh, the safety of these people and so the WikiLeaks uh, information has confirmed many mm -hmm. of the things which we had raised and um, it's absolutely you know it's raising some very tough questions about um, the practices of the US uh, security forces and you're probably aware that we have been raising these questions for a long time in relation to Guantanamo Bay mm -hmm. in relation to the use of military commissions instead of using civil courts and extracting evidence through torture you know all of these have been issues we have been raising for a long time and we feel that the US government should now really carry out a full independent investigation but what can be done in front of this well I mean this the US government is not above the law I mean all governments are accountable there are international standards mm -hmm. uh, the US government has signed up to the convention on against torture so they are accountable at the international level like anybody else it's the Peruvian government is accountable so is the US government so. And now that we talk about Peruvian, per Peruvian laws, how is Peru in, the, in this level of, of respecting uh, human rights? Is how, how good or how, how bad is, is, is Peru doing? If you compare it to where things were 20 years ago, we've come a long way. If you compare it to international human rights standards, we still have a long way to go. For example, if you take the Decree Law 1095, which is under discussion right now, uh, you know, the idea of, again, once again, uh, using military uh, solutions and uh, using the military maybe to potentially curb civil unrest. Uh, we know that in Peru there's been a long history of the military abusing its power. Mm -hmm. So bringing the military again I think is a very regressive step. And of course we still have a lot of issues of impunity on the Bagua issue, mm -hmm. on the issue of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Uh, things are moving far too slowly. So we, we want fair trials and we want them to happen quickly. And do you think here in Peru we keep uh, making or we keep doing the same mistakes? In relation to the way in which indigenous people's rights are being abused, I think we are repeating the same mistakes because indigenous people's rights have been abused historically, time and again. And we are continuing to do that now to extract natural resources. The same in relation to women's rights. Uh, we feel that you know there's historical discrimination against women and many of their basic rights, particularly sexual and reproductive rights, are not being upheld. One of the main problems here in Peru is the centralism. It's like just uh, Peru is Lima and Lima is Peru and only the, the people who live in Lima are the important people and the rest, who knows? Well, I mean, there's 30 million people or so in Peru, about 9 million live in Lima. So you still have 20 million outside. So, And it's true, I mean, that, that there is a strong sort of uh, uh, obsession or fixation on those who live in the capital and the people outside have less of a voice but uh, you know as I was saying earlier that if we don't include the population particularly indigenous people and the rural campesinos yes. then the cost the consequences of not including them will be long-term insecurity and instability and what can Amnesty International do in respect uh, re respecting to this apart from saying this I mean something related with acts yeah but saying it is very important that is an act in itself <laughs> yeah 
we should yeah. we should remember that you know uh, whenever things have changed uh, historically and in any part of the world things have always changed when people have taken action when people have raised their voice that's what amnesty does it it identifies problems it highlights the problems and it gets people to take action so amnesty is a global movement of 2.8 million people who are taking action and because of these actions so many violations have been stopped Okay, just to finish and like an advice, uh, what can we do, Peruvians, just to improve the, con the, the conditions of our human rights? I think first and foremost, you need to be aware of what your human rights are, because people very often don't know, you know, even indigenous people, when we say free, informed, prior consent, they don't know that this is a global, internationally agreed right. So first, you need to be aware of your own rights. Second, you need to make other people particularly indigenous people and women and rural people aware of their rights. And once they're aware of their rights, you need to claim those rights. You can claim those rights as an individual. You can claim those rights by joining Amnesty International or human rights organizations. Stop,